We begin tonight with six people being arrested as part of an alleged bribery conspiracy to give guaranteed passing scores to certain commercial driver's license applicants. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live here in studio after speaking with the Trucking Association of Massachusetts. Ciara, they told me that this is concerning, but want to reassure the public that safety is taken very seriously by most reputable companies when operating these large vehicles. The trucks can weigh upwards of 80,000 pounds. And understanding how to drive the truck is important. What we heard of today is not the norm in any way, shape or form. The Trucking Association of Massachusetts says driving a commercial truck is something that should not be taken lightly. This as six people, including Massachusetts state troopers, were arrested for allegedly giving passing scores to certain Massachusetts commercial driver's license applicants. The executive director of TAM says the extensive training for a CDL is critical to be qualified to safely drive the large trucks. You don't only have to prove the ability that you can drive the vehicle. You have to prove your ability to understand the vehicle, to be able to make sure the vehicle is safe before you drive the vehicle. You have to be 18 years old to apply for a commercial driver's license, but in order to drive interstate commerce, you have to be 21 years old. In Massachusetts, commercial driver's license tests are administered by state police. TAM officials say that even once someone has received their CDL license, there's still more training in store. And especially if you're a new driver with a new CDL license, doesn't mean they just give you a key and say, go ahead, take our truck. There's all types of internal training that happens with reputable uh, trucking companies that, as well that allows them to be, you know, feel confident and ensure that they are, their drivers are operating safely. Again, the six people arrested include four Massachusetts state troopers and the two others for alleged bribery conspiracy. A list of their names has been posted to our website, WWLP.com. We're giving you tonight, Christina DeMores, 22 News.